There's no doubt about it. A change in the start of the school year means major adjustments for parents. 41 Action reporter Mackenzie Nelson joins us live. She talked with parents about changes for the upcoming school year. Mackenzie, bring us up to speed on what they had to say. Well, parents and teachers have been waiting for updates regarding the school year, and today they got those answers. They learned that their school year will be delayed and they won't be starting off the year in their classroom with their students. I'm announcing now that I will be issuing, issuing an executive order next Monday to delay opening of schools until after the Labor Day holiday. In-person classes will not begin before Labor Day. During a press conference, Governor Kelly said this will give school districts time to get hand sanitizer, masks, and thermometers. I will also issue an executive order to make those common sense mitigation strategies that are in the board's plan mandatory because we have already seen what happens when guidelines are voluntary. The board's navigating change document was a recommendation, now a mandate according to Governor Kelly. Tuesday, the Kansas State Board of Education released the 1,000 page yeah. plan for in-person, hybrid and remote learning. I really hope that whatever they put into place from state all the way down, that it's best not only for our kids, but then the staff and the teachers too, you know, that are working with them. Mm -hmm. 41 Action News talked with parents about what they'd like to see in the fall and they each hoped for different plans. If my kids have to wear masks to get into that building, let's do it. If they need to wash their hands every hour, let's do it. While some parents felt comfortable sending their kids back to school, others weren't set on the idea. I think when we get down to like, what's the smart, safe thing to do? I don't think it's going back you know, Monday through Friday uh, into the class. Even with guidelines in place, some parents didn't feel in-person classes were a risk worth taking. Why did we all shelter in place? Why did all these businesses, you know, why are they going to go out of business because they had to close down and, and they weren't able to make it? If now we're just going to throw it all away and just boom, you know, go back to school. Governor Kelly said she could not consciously open schools with a number of hotspots in the state of Kansas with cases at an all time high. And next week she plans to sign that executive order reporting live in Overland Park. Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News.